Today we have come to East Kilbride in Scotland to meet up with athlete Sarah Rogers to give us an insight into the life of a figure skater. I'm Sarah and I've been figure skating for 14 years. So So I skate at my local rink in East Pride, which is in the middle of a shopping mall. <laughs> Often you can get delinquents that laugh, which can be quite embarrassing, but then you get quite supportive people who actually clap and, you know, they comment on how good you are, which is really nice. At the moment I'm training about four times a week. I spend about two hours at a time on the ice practicing jumps, spins and programs in preparation for competition. A program is what we use in competition. There's two different types of program. One's a sh one is a short and one is a long. These differ in the amount of elements and duration. Competitive figure skating includes jumps and spins and as your level increases so does the difficulty in these jumps and spins. There are six different types of jumps. Axle sal, toe loop, flip, lutz, and you can constantly improve on them. I started out with just kind of stepping on the ice and then eventually that turned into gliding and then jumping. But the jumps were literally a half turn or a single, which then as I got older I got stronger, which increased to two turns and now I'm attempting three, which is 1,080 degrees. A successful jump would be fully rotated and with a strong landing. This is a correctly executed double loop. To land these jumps successfully can take a lot of practice, meaning we fall a lot, which can be very painful and not to mention demotivating. This is me attempting a triple sacco, a high scoring jump often used by Olympic skaters. Except they land theirs. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm not, which really sucks. Spins are a lot more complex. Spins come in many different varieties. These differ in body positions and movement. A good spin would show strength, speed, and balance. During competition, you would lose points if the rotation of the spin is slow and if you're traveling too much. And spins can be quite funny and dangerous at the same time. Um, usually my hair gets caught in my mouth or my necklace will slap my face. <laughs> And I've cut my face a couple times with my blade, which is, sounds impossible, but it happens. <laughs> There's the occasional accident where someone can get in the way and you'll just you know, cause a serious injury. <laughs> there was a pair that did a spin side by side and they got too close and the guy ended up hitting the girl in the face and slashed her cheek. Another one of the elements required is called a step sequence. So this includes turn steps and body movement. These steps are choreographed into a flowing sequence which can be moved across the ice, diagonally across the ice, or in a circle around the ice.
the most inspirational skaters for me are Yevgeny Poshenko of Russia and Yuna Kim of Korea. It's just extraordinary. The jumps they're doing are quads and yeah. <laughs> Figure skating is a great sport to get into, especially when you're young, because it keeps you fit. It's a great way to meet new people and it's very rewarding.